Before we connect everything and set it up, we're going to have to make sure that we have a clear view of the southern sky. We've got to make sure that there's no trees, vehicles, buildings, anything in the way that's going to obstruct the, the tailgater from receiving the signal. Now, you can, if you know where the satellites are, it's pretty easy to do. However, if you have an iPhone, there's a really great app out there. It's called Dish for My RV. And you can find that in the Apple App Store. I happen to have it installed on this phone. And what it does is it'll, it's, it'll show you an image of what's in front of you with an overlay of the satellites. So we'll go ahead and start this up. I, I apologize it's a little bright out here, but hopefully you can see that. And then after a second, it will, uh, the compass and GPS have to kick in, and then the satellites will appear up in the sky. You can hold it vertically or horizontally. And I hope you can see that. You can see the satellites up in the sky there. And you can see right from here we have a clear view of the southern sky. There's nothing obstructing the view. So to use this, we're going to go over to the satellite dish. We're going to stand behind it. I'm just going to hold it like this and go, yep, I have a clear view of the satellites. I know it's going to work from this location. It's that simple. I'm going to put the iPhone away. Next. Uh, Next, now that we know we have our clear view, we're going to go ahead and connect our cables. On the back side of the tailgater, there's a single coaxial connection. As I mentioned earlier, there's no power, so it's, everything's provided through this, uh, through this single connection. And uh, to do this, just hold your cable up here. It should screw on nice and easily. There's no need for a wrench. If it doesn't slide on nice and easily, and uh, you may have it cross-threaded, so just back it off and, and be patient and get it on there straight. After that, we're going to take the other end of the cable and connect it to our VIP 211K. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the only DISH network receiver that will work with this tailgater. On the back of the receiver, is a port labeled sat in. And again, we'll hold the cable nice and straight. And it should screw in nice and easily. And you do not need a wrench on this one either. I have already got the power connected to my power inverter in the vehicle. And I also have the video cables connected to the monitor. Depending on what kind of monitor you have will dictate what kind of cables you use, whether you use the composite, the component, the HDMI. So, now that that's connected, that's all there is to it. We can come to our remote control, press the SAT button, and turn on the power. After turning on the power, the dish will make a little grinding noise as the, as the satellite uh, aligns itself. When the receiver's powered on, it's going to come up and say portable satellite setup. And really, it's going to only want to ask you one question here is, which state are you in? And on the left-hand side, it has A through F, G through L, M through R, S through Z. So you would just select the, uh, the appropriate letter that your state begins with, and then hit the right arrow button and come over and select your state. I already have Minnesota selected. After we do that, I'll hit the right arrow again and we will choose the scan button. Now that we've done that, that's all we need to do. We need to make sure though that we're not standing in front of the satellite dish while it's trying to acquire its signal, because that will not work. This is going to take about a few minutes. Once it uh, acquires a satellite, it will then download the program guide. And you'll be watching TV. There's really nothing else to do. Uh, I also have to mention that even though this does find the satellites on its own, after it's found them, if this dish gets moved at all, it will lose that lock on the satellite. Um, there are a couple different methods to get the lock back. The easiest of the two is to basically unplug the power from the satellite dish and just plug it back in. A few minutes later, it'll go through this entire setup again ask you what state, you'll click scan, and uh, it'll be right where we're at now. Uh, the other is a check switch. I don't recommend it, it's just, it's, it's involved, it, it takes a few extra steps when you could simply just pull the power. So 
We'll give this a few minutes to do its thing, and we'll be right back. <laughs>